Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the long-awaited, finally starting again, the remake of the RPG tutorial series. The reason why I stopped last time was, like I said, I didn't have a powerful enough computer to record the videos. Now that I got a good enough computer to record, like I said, I'm going to start doing it. And I promise you guys I'll start recording it Monday, so today is Monday, and time to record. So, I'm doing everything from the ground up, but the only difference is, this time I'm doing everything in studio. I've actually, my friend recently has gotten me, or has given me the key to the Steam edition of it, so, yay. Anyways, let's begin. First thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and just create the sprite. Player. Okay, let's go ahead and just give it a basic player sprite. Okay, I'm going to pause the video while I do this, so you don't have to worry about watching me draw through this boring crap. And there we go. Now we have a basic player. So let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and click check mark on this. Um, make sure you center the sprite so that way it won't derp out. Quick, I'm going to also quickly go ahead and give it a ellipse collision mask and using the full image. So that way it won't, it won't really have as many collision, collision issues. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create the object. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to be setting up a basic player, getting the player to move, rotate, and everything like that. I'm just going to give the uh, give it the sprite SPR player. Let's go ahead and add in the draw event. All right, add draw, add event, add draw, and draw. And by the way, guys, I'm using the beta build of Game Maker. So, okay. Anyway, so go here. <coughs> oh no, I'm not. Oh wow, they won't let you do, let you do beta. Hmm. Well, okay then. Oh, uh, what was it doing? Oh, the player. So let's go ahead and make sure the player gets drawn towards the direction he is going. I want to do it like this because if you use image angle to rotate the object instead of doing it the way I'm going to show you, image angle will, will like sort of mess up the collision system and just derp out big time. Okay, so anyways, now with that being said, let's get started uh, off with drawing the sprite to ro go towards the rotation of the object. Sorry if you guys couldn't hear me a while ago. I forgot I had my mic down a little bit. Hang on for a second. Eh. And there we go. And that absolutely did nothing at all. Okay, anyways, draw sprite ext, sprite index, image index, x, y, image, x scale, image, y scale, and image. Actually, for the rotation put, direction instead of image angle. Um, color is image blend and image alpha for the end. Oops, M -A -G -E, blend. Um, okay, so let's go ahead, actually, no, yeah, let's go add that up here, and just, just do a friction, is it, oh, friction is equal to 0 0.5, uh, and let's do it like this, if keyboard, that check, direct, vk, le, or actually not, ord, a, otherwise with holding down the holding down the A key, then direction plus equals five. Um, let's say one five. Uh, if they're holding down the D key, let's make it so direction minus equals five. And by the way, it has the letter for using W A S D has to be capitalized when using the ORD. So keep that in mind. Now let's make it when you press W, speed is equal to 5 and s speed is equal to minus 5 and there we go we should have basic movement in the game already so I'm go ahead and create a room put the object in the room uh, I'm just going to show you how to be able to make, make sure the camera can follow, follow the player too I'm just going to do a test launch so you can see an example of how it works now left right forward and reverse you make it where they rotate a little bit slower Rotate a bit too fast for my liking. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Direction plus equals five. Five is a very good number, so let's test this out again. Now, there we go. We now have basic movement for the player. Woohoo! Alright, so now we are at 4 minutes 34 seconds, so let's, I'm going to continue on to at least 7. So now I'm going to show you how to create the view to follow the player. So first, let's go ahead and create the room larger than the view, so let's say 2000 by 2000. Then go to Views, and you have to enable Use Views and select the view you want to enable, which I'm using View 0, and click Visible when room starts. Then you put the view size, which I like 800 by 600 personally, and do the same over here. 
by 600. Oh, that's going to be. Oop, that. Eh. There we go. 800 by 600. Then you select the object you want the view to follow. Now make sure you put H border and V border to a ridiculously high number. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you have to get the char character co close to the edge of the screen in order for, uh, for it to move. And now, this way it actually makes it censored. Okay. Now, let's test the game again and take a look. Ooh, what broke? Hmm? What broke? Oh, that's why. 200, not 2,000. Fail! Okay. And now, as you can see, and now the camera's following the player. Woohoo! Hmm. Yeah, it looks a little bit jumpy. Hmm. Let's try it like this. See what happens. Let's go ahead and round the X and Y the sprite is being drawn at. See what happens. I think I should fix the uh, issue. If not, then I'll show you how to fix it in the next tutorial. Next tutorial. Yep, that fixes it. Yay. No more jumpiness. And now walking up. And now he's walking up. Yay. Um, well, okay. So now I'm just going to quickly give you, show, you guys, show you guys how to add in a quick background. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to pause the video while I draw the background. And I just quickly got one off of Google Images. I didn't want to draw it. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now they have your background. Let's go ahead and add the background to the room. So click backgrounds, then click this, and select your background you want to add. And there we go, now we have a loop, oh wow, it sucks at looping. But yeah, we have a looping background, and I should be able to see it a bit easier when you go to uh, move your player, when the camera is following the player. So let's go ahead and test this out. And there we go, we have a very smooth movement system. As easy as that. Okay guys, um, this is a good spot of any to actually cut off the video. Next video I'm going to show a start on implementing, or actually, the yeah, next video I'm going to implement a basic enemy pathfinding system and everything, or not, not really pathfinding, scheme maker system of pathfinding, which I really love. I think I used it in the last tutorial, I don't remember, it's been a while. But yeah, next tutorial is going to be enemies and basic stats. So, uh, possibly even the attacking system for the player. Alright guys, thank you, thank you for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Adios!